be limited by other people's limited imaginations. My Jameson. Good part of the day, dear people, dear beloved ones, dear weavers, especially who are watching us things right now, and we are blissfully happy to commerce over today's program, as we call it, Our Pride. According to the custom of Our Pride program that we will talk about the life path of exemplary people who have their own place in our society, strive for their goals, and defend for their intelligence, knowledge, responsibility, culture, and huge intelligence, and of course lead successful lives and honorable people in our society. As you have guessed, today's heroes of our high-scale projects are the people with several long years' experience in the field of business and the founders of the several kinds of popular projects and companies such as Office Market, and Factor, Impulse, Eduon, Delius, Baroncos, and of course, the major investors, knowledgeable teachers and speakers, Hassan and Hassan Namazai. Part of the day, our dear guests, uh, Hassan and Hassan Mamazaydov. First of all, we are going to say that thank you very much in advance for accepting our offer. We are really appreciate your precisely time and work, which is getting put in our in busy schedule as well. Thank you very much. And first of all, um, we know that childhood plays one of the most important role in human life. Let's first of all talk about one of the most sincere and flawless moments of your childhood. Uh, can you share with us your fondest memories, which you can remember with uh, great admiration till this day? Uh, how was passed on your childhood memories and uh, where you were born, where did you study, and what kind of memories can you share with us? Thank you very much, Mastermind. Actually, it's really the most important time in life of everyone, because our parents uh, actually made very good focus for our education and for efficiency in time management because we don't remember when we had free time. After school we had any time uh, sometimes uh, participating photo, <coughs> sometimes we're going to musical school and sports, sports. every time we uh, didn't have a free time and it, it was very good for uh, immunity of our uh, time management and I think this is still helping us for now, yes? I think Hussan Akhet also will add uh, another aspect of childhood time. First of all, thank you for inviting uh, to your interview. Uh, at the beginning, I want to tell that we don't have very good English, so maybe we can make mistakes, but it's, it should be normal because uh, your auditory uh, must know that e even though you don't know English very well, but you must try. So if we will have some mistakes, just don't pay attention, try to focus on our message. About our childhood, I can add that we were born in Dushanbe city, East Tajikistan, because uh, our parents at that time worked uh, in uh, Dushanbe. Uh, was my twin brother Hassan. We studied at seven schools because in Dushanbe there was no Uzbek, there was no enough Uzbek schools. So we go to uh, three years for the beginning school, then one year another school, and then four or five years to another school. Then we studied at Samarkand at. Yeah, learning Hojant. about it was Hojant, and we finished our school in Tashkent. Also, we started at Artec School. It was the school for very talented youth from very, uh, all over the Soviet Union. So it was very memorable uh, time for us, and we needed to communicate with different people from different schools. Every time we go to new we school to adapt to any new uh, atmosphere, atmosphere and uh, yeah, so also as my twin brother Hassan told we had very good time for going 
and different courses, learning centers. It was sports schools, it was swimming, karate, box, taekwondo, taekwondo everything, football, rubop, piano. hockey, piano, rubop, clarinet, everything, photo. So we don't remember that we, were, we had some free time. If we don't like one of them, we can go to another one, etc. And these things uh, actually formed our personality. What profession did you originally want to be from your childhood? Actually, in study time uh, in school, when we go to school, uh, we was Hussan. Even from that time, loud uh, speaking, because we were very active in school activities. We were active for this kind of social responsibilities. Organizers. We were, were, were very good organizers and active students, even in university, in, even in school. Any school, uh, holidays or celebrities, this kind of programs, we were uh, added in the uh, top of list for participating in this kind of events. Um, this was also a factor of success and we actually loved this. Maybe this is the result of maybe habits of our parents because my, uh, our parents also were uh, active people. Uh, he, my parent, uh, my father was a uh, songer, singer in uh, Philharmonia. He was, uh, he finished the theater. He was good in soft skills. Our mother was a teacher of mathematics in, UN, in university. Maybe these habits, these um, characters also uh, become to our... Part of us. Yes, our kids and this uh, transformed or this formed our habits, our nature. And maybe today's result was the result of uh, their behavior, their communication, their attention for us as a child. you are the founders of several kinds of projects and companies just like Infactor, Delius, Eduan, Varankaus and that so many I have. And where came your mind such kind of ideas to open such kind of business and who will be the initiative role in this position? Uh, actually we are 25 years in business. We started our family business in 1997. Uh, as a private entrepreneur, it was the business started with, uh, from my father. Uh, we four four sons, father, mother, and four sons. We started our small family business. Then it uh, turned to office market. It was two thousands. And but uh, during our business, we had many ups and downs in business and life. We lost so much money. We lost. So we had so much failures. So regarding uh, project and factor. It was started in 2017. Before that, my twin brother Hassan also faced was one uh, another big failure, and he lost about 400,000 US dollars in his business. And it was very big stress for uh, when you make this kind of loss. And we thought, why there is no any kind of school or shows, interviews where we can see the interview of people with experience on business. So we thought, why not we, we make this kind of interview and we started our first interview in Ground Zero co-working. We made interview with the founders of this co-working, with Hikmat and his wife. Uh, the next uh, show was with Laziz Atham, the book cafe's founder. And uh, the aim was to learn something from experienced people in business. We wanted to know their 
ideas what should we do what should we do uh, because entrepreneurs don't have enough time to study in university they need short interviews they need short courses about what to do and what not to do or not to do in business so this was the idea uh, why we began with this uh, project then we thought maybe there will be 100 people who can see this interview and we uploaded this to YouTube. Uh, then we started this project with Tashkent TV in 2018. Every week we made one interview with uh, entrepreneurs. And then we found that it was interesting not only for us, it was interesting for any entrepreneur who is in Uzbekistan and we have m millions of youth who want to open their own business. And they started to see these videos. They started to see these interviews. Then we found that many people want to learn from practical, uh, experienced people. Then it, after interview, we started some trainings because people asked, can we go and stay behind the camera when you talk with these guys? Told, okay, why not we make some kind of um, Auditor. auditory, we put whiteboards, we invite the speakers and we can put some chairs and maybe we can sell tickets for these to, to meetings cover the expense. to cover our expenses for coffee breaks, for this kind of video making processes, etc. Then we found that people are coming. First uh, meeting was 15 person, next one 20s and 30s and 50s and hundreds of people were coming. So it was growing, it was developing step by step. It was not all by business plan, it was by pain. We found the pain which we have. We thought maybe there will be another 100 person who may be interested to this one. Then we found that there is demand for these interviews, for these trainings, for these meetings. Yes. Then we made M Factor, we made the Varonkas, and we made this kind of studios, etc., etc., step by step uh, the last five, six years. Uh, nowadays, these interviews, uh, this channel is watched by millions of Uzbek people, not only from Uzbekistan, but all over the world. We have the rule, if you have lemon, make, we will make from this limonade. And we have good limonade as a project, in fact, as a project add-on, because in fact, there is is a online and offline educational platform for business. We have our own view, our own niche, our own segment. People who want to come to business, uh, new generation, business people with experience, they would like to come. But nowadays, add-on is the next step. share with us your management style or teaching philosophy in the field of business uh, for your business training courses. Uh, what is your track record? What is your exit strategies? Um, can you share with us your uh, teaching philosophy, teaching business philosophy right now? Because we know that there are so many teachers, advisors, um, major investors or speakers in the field of business, especially who has uh, taken advantage from the teaching training courses from the business fair. In, during pandemic period, we found that many training courses or many training schools who opened their business as a small business, offline people, faced problem. They had some problem with, re with rents, with salaries, etc., etc. And at that time, my son Lugbek was studying at Greenwich University on IT. So we found that people starting business in educational sphere, facing problems with uh, their expenses for rents, for uh, tutors, etc., etc. 
and they are not covering uh, their expenses because uh, income was uh, going down, but the expenses were stable and they must have, uh, they must uh, invest to the schools and they had operational expenses. Then I told to, um, to my son, look, uh, there is Udemo, get course, you, uh, uh, different uh, skill box and different uh, platforms with this, but why not we do some kind of, you do some kind of platform to Uzbek segment because there are 30 plus million Uzbeks. Many of them need to learn something, but because of uh, language barriers, they don't, many of them don't know even in Russian. Many of them don't know even English. Why don't we make some kind of platform you make because you are studying in university on IT uh, please uh, learn all these platforms, try to get uh, get best size from them and let's start this kind of platform. And it took already three years. We, yes. we, start, we are spending so much time for this platform. We made its third round every time we are changing, changing. So nowadays we found that we must help our people who are entering into educational sphere to decrease their cost of doing business and online will help this online can help to sell more courses to decrease their costs to cut their costs because for having this kind of uh, school you have many costs you have rent you have internet you have many expense, uh, expenses so uh, this solution was add-on, educational online. So add-on.us is a platform where anyone who has knowledge, knowledge, I don't know, it can be school courses, it can be professional courses, it can be entrepreneurship courses, any courses, you can just write your courses on your computer or on your video and upload and sell. You put the price. It can be one sum, it can be 1,000 sum, it can be 1 million sum. So, and uh, until you don't earn money, you don't have cost. If you charge this one, let's say one million sum, what your cost, then you have 70% of your income and 30% will be shared within uh, Edion IT team, which is more than 50 person working. So this was idea, this was also pain for us because when we make mm, some trainings here in Factor. We are selling these trainings to entrepreneurs. They have uh, ability to pay one million per day, but we have millions of youth who don't have enough money. So the solution was to try to decrease the cost of doing business. So online can go wider because we see ad tech, this is ad tech education technology. So we see that there is good opportunity here. And we uh, did our job two years. We found that we don't have enough experience on IT side. Then last year we joined with our friends. They have FinTech uh, solutions, uh, Uniret, uh, FinTech Hub, uh, our friend Abdullah Zakia. We joined our efforts and we tried to relaunch our uh, dawn again. So we spent one year from last April to now. Uh, now it is already MVP. Now there, is, uh, first, there are some first results. We, we think that uh, some courses are selling already and people uploading and we're making easy uh, to make money on your knowledge. If you want to, to, to I don't know, you want to teach English. There are so many tutors, there are so many schools, there are so many uh, language schools, there are so many, I don't know, IT schools. Of course, uh, you, you have knowledge, but you don't have enough team to make your own platform. You don't need that. You just try to write your course, make it 100,000 soon. If there is demand, you will see, oh, there is demand, I will write again. I'll write another course, I'll write another course. So it will help to make passive income for anyone who has knowledge and you don't have uh, to spend 
uh, rent or other expenses until you don't have incomes. So this was the idea because it is not news. It's, there is actually think globally act locally. Like there was Uber and the, my taxi opened here. And there was uh, Udemy, Get Course, Coursera, etc. So I was told why not to we make on Uzbek market. So we made, we see there, there, are first, uh, there is first uh, result on this sphere. And about exit, um, for this idea we don't have uh, goal to sell our share. I don't know, it's our mission. We want add-on and factor to be first mover in our market. We want these projects uh, to be useful to our nation. We want that uh, from these platforms, from these projects, our youth will have new knowledge. Our youth will, don't, uh, will be more skilled personnel. They don't go to Russia and to make handwork for $500. So this was our mission, this is our vision, because me and has my twin brother, maybe we started five years ago. Maybe five years, maybe ten years, maybe after even our passing, it, is, it will uh, work to our nation. So maybe thousands, maybe millions of youth, Uzbek people will have some knowledge from here. And there is a word, Sadaqai <coughs> Joria. Even if we pass, it should uh, work for our nation. Not, maybe, not only maybe Uzbeks, but um, it's like, you know, uh, you know, Skype? Skype was made by Estonian guys. We want to be proud that Edwon was made by Uzbek guys. And it should not uh, work only for Uzbek nation. We are working on FinTech and EdTech. We are make, trying to make easy to put your knowledge to this platform, which, which must serve thousands of people, and lets anyone who has knowledge earn money, and you can earn money $1,000 very easily. And we want that thousands of people will use your knowledge. If you are a good tutor on English, please, uh, we want to help them. We want to make bridge between youth who want to learn something and youth who want to teach something. So this is vision, this is values, we hope it will work. For you can you remember the first money which you have earned and how do you find and how do you spend it for what reason and generally to tell um, can you describe have you ever been earned the huge income in one attempt mm -hmm. actually money is a good uh, resource to gaining your aim because you have vision you have mission and you need uh, to have good money in order to realize your uh, dreams, your aims. That's why uh, you need to give the value to people in order to earn money. That's why money is a resource for us. Actually, yes, we in our businesses have so many cases when we earn very big money, very good cases. In example, in 2008, I, I think, deal was for that time, 680 million, maybe $300,000. Uh, it was one good deal for me. This is just that you can't sell for this kind of big deals. And as uh, soon as you will have good deals, good money, you can make effort yourself this kind of thing because you know uh, every equipment, every technology, also need uh, yes resource to buy. You, or in your case, you use uh, governmental resource. In our case, we didn't have donors. We needed to uh, find 
the case how can to own money. That's why in our view of mind, we every time try to think what kind of value we can give to our customers, our auditory, and what kind of things will bring our good money in order we can realize. Because everyone in his life wants doing things you what you love and loving things what you do and earning good money for this. Maybe with our background in business, we are happy that we do what we love. And we love what we do and we can earn good money for the things which we love and what we do. Perfect. There is one of the famous expressions which was told by you. Life has such as, but it, it took much more expensive. Can you share with us one of the most difficult problems which you have faced in your last role uh, from this field? And how do you overcome it? How do you find a exact solution from this situation and what you have learned from it? What do you think? How mistakes or faults play an important role in human's life? Success is the result of experience. Experience is the result of mistakes, actually. That's why uh, life is a very good teacher, but it takes very expensive. And every uh, people, successful people whom you know, has actually uh, ups and downs in their life. And everyone has their own conclusions. Even in our uh, show uh, impulse or uh, uh, which was uh, ex highly, expensive. highly expensive, this kind of show or program. We have several, more than 20 or more than 30 uh, interviews uh, about uh, conclusions. Every uh, hero which was in this interview participated, they told their stories. What kind of emotional stress they go, what was the factor of success after this case to go out from it? What was the factors which brought you to this kind of mistakes? Actually, we had a uh, conclusion after any mistake, but even not mistake, but even after very good ups, we have usually conclusions because uh, as uh, very uh, good sayings there is even success is going, uh, it also will go, will pass, even failure will pass. That's why the situation not changed, but the relation for this is very important. That's why in a situation when we are in crisis, it was emotional crisis, it is psychological, um, financial crisis, you feel very bad. In this situation, very good, helpful case in our situation is uh, uh, our family, our brothers, our parents, our friends, our uh, relations. Because sometimes when you come to family, you know very hard situation you need to pass. It's like you as a soldier with his, with his pain with uh, whom to uh, people they still so, so shoot soldier but you need to time you need to do good uh, energy to help uh, pass this situation that's why it's a very good case and very long case even only about this we had so many interviews each one with one hour two hour but the situation and the conclusions is very important in this situation. Maybe Hussain also will add anything. For the past 25 years, I had many ups and downs. When you are in your up time, it's okay. You have money, you have good energy, you have people who are with you. But when you go down, it is difficult. You are stressed, you lost money, you lost your enthusiasm. It is difficult. Uh, we had many downs in our business, in our life. We lost money. And maybe if we calculate the money we lost, maybe it's more than a million dollars. Millions, yes. But everything which don't kill us, don't kill us, make us harder, make us smarter, stronger, yes, make us stronger. So we had many this kind of downs and many of them related to money. 
because if there is money, it's not a problem, it's just expenses. But if there is no enough money, you cannot cover this expense and your people are going from your business. And one of the biggest lectures in Uzbek market is don't own money in dollars if you are making your business in sums. Many youth, many entrepreneurs try to own money on uh, dollars or in euros to your to this to zero business. Many of our problems to our business came when we owned money in uh, US foreign dollars in foreign currency because every five six years currency rates were going up and this was financial mistakes which cost us a lot. If one lesson which I tell to youth who are entering into business, please think before taking <laughs> the in uh, owning. owning this is loans, uh, this is debts. Maybe if it is investor's case, if it is he is sharing your risk together, that's maybe no problem. But if you are taking loans, credits, etc. in foreign currency, this may be a big problem for you. So for our case, we had some assets to sell and we had brothers who can think, sit together, think about what kind of solutions we have. But not everyone has this kind of brothers who can help you in your hard times. So in our case, it was experience, it was family, it was assets. Because when you are down, no one will help you. Don't expect help from other people.